Hello everyone, welcome back to ABL Elements. So in the last class we have seen about the conditional statement, right? That is if a statement, if else a statement, if a statement. In this class we are going to create a very very interesting and very uh, like good uh, projects. That is digital watch, right? I think all of you know about the watch. There are two kind of watch: analog watch or digital watch, right? So on your laptop. Uh, like systems you can already see like what at the bottom of the screen the time is pop up right that is a digital timing okay right? so today we'll see how we can write the code to find the digital uh, to make a digital watch graphics or animations right so this will be the out at the end of the project this will be our output you can see here this is the time which will display on the graphics screen right so let's start let's jump to the software so everyone open a new software yeah all of you have opened a new tab, new file okay so first let's start with the module import turtle now here i need one more module that is date time module because you need to find out the current current time right so for that python has already inbuilt module that is module so i'll call this module now let's start with let's first see how we can find the exact time of the current place so for that Let's create a variable. Let's suppose here I am taking a variable equal to. Here I need to write down turtle dot. Here I need to sorry I need to uh, like find out the time with the help of date time model. So I'll call date time dot date time dot now. Right. See what is this date time? This is your module name, right? That is this library. And this date time is the method which is inside this module. Right, so then the name of method library both are same. And dot now means it will give you the current time. Right, let's print this one, print this variable, and let's see whether we are able to find the value or not. If I click on run, in the output you can see it's uh, 2023 to 40. Right, current time in uh, like in India at my place is it's 12:27 p.m. Right, and this is the second. This is the hour. This is the minute, and this is the second right so now let's see how we can find out separately like if i want to find only hour only minute only second so here i'll take r right so this will give you the r right and here i'll take a variable hr i'm storing this hour inside this variable separately i'll find out minute and second as well so i'll take variable minute equal to date time dot date time date time dot date time dot now here instead of r i'll take minute same i'll take one more variable that is second for that i have created one variable with the name sec you can give any name right again i'll call date time dot date time dot now right and here i'll write second now till now we have uh, already find out all the three values our minute second because we'll use it separately in our digital watch projects right now the first thing is that I want to display this time on the graphics screen. Okay, so till now we have seen about different methods of this turtle module, like how we can draw some things, circle, square, or different geometry, right? But today I am going to introduce one more term, that is write method, right? Let's suppose here if I write turtle dot write, I am simply using right turtle dot write. Write method will give you the options to write anything on the graphics screen, right? So here in this write method, the first argument will be your string let's suppose for now i'm just writing digital watch and then second argument you can select the like font font size font shape right so for that i'll take one more variable this is the argument and i'll take one uh, small bracket inside this the first argument will be the shape uh, like a style of your uh, text right suppose here i'll take some lucina style right? you can take any style lucina Second will be the size of your text. Let's suppose here I am taking 30. And third will be the shape of your text. Let's suppose here I am taking bold shape. You can take anything. Right? So let's see if I run this one, it is working or not. You can see it's um, written on the screen digital watch because I have passed the same command. Right? But here I don't want to display digital watch. I want to display the timing. Right? So I'll explain you how we can use this one uh, later. Right? For now, just remove this line. So first, I'll take one unlimited loop because you know the time will run for an unlimited number of time right so let's see how we can create an unlimited infinite loop for that you need to take while true 
Now, whatever I'll write inside this loop, that will run for a continuous uh, unlimited number of times. So this is the syntax to create a infinite loop. Here, first what I'll do, first I'll write turtle dot i turtle because I don't want to show the turtle on the screen. Right? So first thing is that I need to display the time, right? So I'll use turtle dot write method that I already explained you, right? So first, what I want to display the timing. As we know, as I explained you earlier, this first argument will be in the string format, and you know this module date time dot now will give you the uh, output in the form of integer, either hour, minute, or second. So you need to convert this integer in the string. Okay. So how we can do this one? For that, simply I'll use this string method, and then as you know, if you if you can see the timing in my laptop, right? First it will display hour, minute, then second. So here also I'll first display R. So you can see R I have stored in this variable HR. So here I'll write HR. Right? After this, I'll take plus because I want to add hour, then second, hour, sorry, then minute, then seconds, right? So here I've taken R and this you need to keep between hour and minute and second. There will be column. So here I'll put column. See why I have kept this column inside a single or double inverted comma because this is a string. Again, I'll take plus. Then next, I want to display minute. And minute I have stored in the variable minute. So here I'll call minute. Again, I'll take plus. Third variable, I'll uh, here also I'll take colon. And now third variable is second that I have stored in the sec variable, right? Hope all of you understand, right? Now after this, I'll take font because I want to just change the font of this one. So let's take the style as simple Lucina. Size I'm taking 35, shape I'm taking bold. You can take any style, any shape from the Google, right? Now let's see if I run this one. If I click on run, okay. So you can see there is some uh, error, like perhaps you forgot a comma, right? So let's see what is the error. Yeah, so error is that here we have a start with hour, then minute, then seconds, right? And you need to enclose each and everything inside this, one, right? Because these all are a single terms, right? These all are a single terms. So string hour plus, then comma, then plus, string minute, then plus, and here also you need to add plus, right? Now let's again run this one. Now on the screen you can see it is displaying the time 12:33. Now what is this time? This is the time when and when I executed my code, right? But right now you can see the time is not increasing, right? Because you know till now we we didn't pass any conditions to increase the time. Let's see how we can do this one, right? So for that we need to import one more module that is time module. So I write import. Okay. So first I will write time dot sleep. See, so basically sleep is a method which belongs to this time module, right? One. So I want, as you know, like the time will increase after every one seconds, right? That's why here I pass one. If I run here, okay, you can see right now again the time is not increasing because till now we have we need to increase the second so i'll write sec equal to sec plus one so i want the second will increase okay one by one so again if i run this one in the output you can see now this this is increasing but you can see all the numbers are overlapping to each other right what will be the reason because the reason is that we have written all the statements inside this while uh, infinite loop right so first what you need to do you need to clear the previous statement and then update the value so here only i'll write turtle dot clear so what will what this method clear method will do first it will clear all the string which we have written on the screen and then it will update the value let's see if i run this one now you can see 3940 now the value is increasing right now it's not overlapping but what i want Okay, as we know, um, in a minute, there is 60 seconds, right? So basically, when this number will reach to 60, it will start counting from zero, and then minute will increase by one. Right now, it will not happen, see? You can see, it's keep increasing, 61, 62, right? But we don't want uh, this logic, right? So let's see how we can do this one. So after this, we need to apply if else statement that we have already learned in the previous lecture. So yes, if, sec equal to simple if i write if sec is greater than 60 right if sec is greater than 60 or you can see sec is greater than equal to 60 then i want to start the second from zero increase increase the 
minute by one. So minute equal to minute plus one, right? Now let's understand this one. If I run this one, you can see either it is working or not. So first it will till counting till 59 because here we have passed the condition greater than equal to 60, right? So if it will touch the 60, then again second will count from zero and then minute will increase by one. You can see the output. Let's check the output. Either it is working or not. Yeah, it's working, right? Now you can see it's a start from counting from uh, zero and this value will increase by one. Okay, but one more thing over here, you can see if it's when it displays single term like 0, 1, 2, it's not looking good because uh, like by default you can see in our laptop or uh, or mobile or anywhere, right? So basically when the, there is a single digit, it will fill up the first place by 0, like 0, 1, 0, 2. Oh, that is the default watch, right? And it looks great, right? So let's see how we can do same in our project, right? So what I'll do, so here where I have written a string hour, here I'll take one more model, it is dot red field. And then here I'll pass two. So basically, what this method will do, it will automatically fill up two places. Let's suppose if there is a single digit display over the screen, it will fill up the first place by zero, right? So same we have to do for all the hour, minute, and second. So I'll call again red fill, then again two. Again here also dot red fill, and then two, right? Now if I run this one, you can observe the differences. Now you can see it will automatically fill up zero. Okay, but see, so, so uh, this is fine. This is working. Like when the second will reach to 60, it will in, uh, again count from zero and the minute will increase by one. Same we have to do for minute. Like if the minute will reach to 60. As we know, in a single hour, there are 60 minute, minutes, right? So when this minute will increase, uh, will touch 60, right? Then I want to increase the hour by one, right? Let's see how we can do. So again, I need to write on the one more logic. So here I'll write if minute is greater than equal to 60 right? then minute will count from 0 and then hour will increase by 1 right why I have taken HR because here I have taken a variable as well whatever variable you have taken over here you need to call the same variable right now if I run this one so it will work right now let's see if I run this So for now you need to wait for uh, some minutes, right? So you can see in our project. So I hope all of you understand about how we can write, how we can make the digital uh, projects, right? Now see one more, one more thing. What I want to do, I want to change this title. I want to change the background color, right? So that it will look more attractive, right? Let's see how we can do this one. So I'll go on the top, right yeah, here. You can write anywhere. First, let's see how we can select the background color. So I'll write turtle dot. BG color. BG stands for background. Here I want to change the uh, sorry. Here I want to change the background color of our graphics screen. Let's suppose I want to take cyan color, right? Now if I run this, you can see the background color has changed, right? Now let's suppose if I want to change the title. For that again there is a method that is title method. So I'll call this title method from the title library. Let's suppose here title I'll write uh, digital watch. That is the name of our project, right? Again, let's see if I run this one. You can see now the title has changed to digital watch, right? So this is the uh, this is the basics of digital watch. Now see one more thing. I want you from uh, what you can do if you want to uh, like uh, if you want to make a rectangle around this time, you can make so that your digital watch will look more attractive and more beautiful, right? So you can do by your own because you already know how to draw square, how to draw a different symmetrical pattern. And one more thing, let's suppose by default, whenever you will run any any graphics, okay, by default, this it will start from this value. This value is 0, 0. If you want to change the positions, right, you can change. Let's see how. Let's suppose I want to change the position of this title, right, uh, this right statement. Okay, so what I'll do, first I'll write turtle dot turtle dot go to. I want to change the position. Go to, let's suppose, as I told you, by default it will start from 0, 0, at the center. If you want to move anywhere, uh, you all are in 7th class, you already know about the Cartesian plane. Okay, so the horizontal line is x-axis and vertical line is y-axis. There are four planes. This is first plane, this is second plane, this is third plane, and this one is the fourth plane, right? If I want to draw this square in the 
second plane. In the second plane, let's have left hand side. So left hand side, the value of x will be negative and the value of y will be positive. So let's suppose here I am taking 100, comma, sorry, minus 100, minus 100, comma, 100. So this is the position, uh, this is the value of x, this is the value of y. At this position, I want to write this one. And then you need to write down total dot down. Because when you, okay, now let's see if I run this. You can see this is the position, like uh, this position is minus 100, comma 100, right? Okay, but one more thing, at the starting we have seen while moving from this position to this position, it has drawn one traces. Let's see how we can draw, remove this one. It's a very simple concept. Okay, when, while you are writing something on your notebook, you know, like if you finish first line, when you go to the, when you want to go to the new line, first you need to pan up and then on the next line you need to pan down. Same logic here you have to do. So before go to, you need to write down turtle dot. So first it will pan up, and then it will move to this position, and then it will draw the, it will pan down and then write the statement, right? Let's see if I run this. Now you can see there will be no traces, right? So this is about the go to statements, how we can move from one point to another point in this 2D place, right? I hope all of you enjoyed these sessions, right? And I want you to modify this digital watch, make it, uh, I want you to like make it more attractive by passing some geometrical shapes or you can select some different colors, right? So thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.